Welcome back everyone to another episode of Valheim. In today's episode, we are venturing back into the swamp in order to get our hands on some more iron, but also some iron chains. Because we need the chains in order to craft ourselves a better cooking station that would allow us to make better food. But before we do that, let's use the iron that we've already made from our last episode. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this. Okay, with this amount, we definitely have enough to make something. Let's start with crafting some iron nails just to see what we unlock. The long ship. This is perfect because with this ship, we'll be able to transport a lot more cargo and it's faster as well, so this is given. And in order to upgrade our health and stamina, we'll definitely make the iron cooking station with the upgrade of the spice rack. And let's just make the nails right now so we can save those for when, once we have the materials for the ship because I definitely want the ship as fast as possible. All right, 100 nails. Let's remove these small cooking stations. We don't need them anymore. Instead, we'll be using the iron cooking station, which is good because now we can actually use the serpent meat, which we have harbored for like forever. The fermenters are done with the medium healing, which we were able to make since we got the blood bags. Let's see how good they actually are. 75 healing instead of 50, which is a huge buff because it doesn't heal instantly, so getting a higher tick per second is gonna be felt 100%. Okay, let's look at the spice rack requirements. And we have the dandelion, we have the carrot, mushroom, thistle. Oh, we need the turnips. We don't have that. Okay, so, I mean, it's growing in our garden, so at some point we will be able to get the spice rack. And I'm thinking of placing it right here. This will buff our cauldron, so we can make much better stuff. But for now, we'll work with what we have. But hey, we have survived this far, so why not a little bit longer? Now, here's the question. What should we be doing with the remaining iron that we currently have? Now, some of you may be thinking that the iron pickaxe here is the best choice to spend your iron on, at least as the first item. But... And allow me to explain here. For the same reason that I used the antler pickaxe the first time around and not using the copper axe, I'm going to use the same excuse for not making the iron pickaxe. The iron pickaxe does have a higher durability and damage per swing, so per repair, the iron pickaxe will give more iron, but it is so much easier to actually repair the iron antler pickaxe in the field instead of me having to make a workbench and a forge so I'm just going to use the antler pickaxe and use the iron for now on something else. But when we are going for silver and the other stuff, I will definitely be using the iron pickaxe. So I'm thinking the first thing I want to craft is the huntsman bow because we are using the bow a lot and more damage the better. So let's craft the huntsman bow. With our remaining iron, I'll be making the armor set because that will of course increase our survivability. Sadly, I won't be able to upgrade it, but hey, We'll get that later. Actually, I'm able to upgrade one thing, so I guess I'll just upgrade the helmet. It doesn't really matter which one I'm upgrading because they give the same armor. Now, this is the sad part about crafting. Suddenly, you just don't have anything left and you just have to go out and do it again. But with our new acquired armor, our bow, but also our healing potions, it's going to be much easier to get the required items. And here we are back again in the swamp, or at least nearby. And we already have an enemy. Let's test the damage. These guys doesn't care about Pierce, but with this amount of damage, it doesn't really matter if they are resistant to it or not. Okay, you weren't there the last time I looked. 144, I like. What about you? Oh, this is so awesome. Whoa, hey! <laughs> Where did you come from? Okay, just another one to add to the pile. You know what? Since you're so close, let's just get some mace training. Yeah, no poison for you. And it doesn't really matter because we have the poison resistance potion activated or meat. So we need some ancient bark in order for us to make the ship. Whoa, okay, okay. We definitely have a contester here. Please don't be ranged. Okay, it's a melee. It's okay. A two-star dragon, that's... Whew. Don't, don't you want to fight me? I guess he's scared. The swamp is already a dangerous place without it being dark, but since we are here at this hour, we might as well stick around in order to find the wraith if we want more chains. And we want those because we need them. And I also really want to kill this aberration, but I have a feeling that we should wait until dawn. The amount of enemies right now, damn. Oh, oh no you don't. And that was the knife. Okay, here's an ancient tree. Let's just hope that we can cut this, these things down without everything attacking us. Because we need, what, 40 for us to make the shield ship. And of course the brood is like, hey, what's going on over there? Sounds like someone's having fun. And now you... Oh! Whoa, okay. Definitely got a reminder of how much damage they're doing. 
Okay, so Great Dwarfs and the Draggers are not al allies, which is a good thing. Looks like we have a Rave, and from this distance, I don't really care. Oh! And of course, I hit him, so now we have fight. Oh my. <laughs> Pop this while I'm jumping, so we still have some momentum. Up, 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 up. Hey, hey, Forest Guy, oh, it's a brute! <laughs> okay, the Dragger will fight this guy, and the Rave. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, look at the damage we did to the Wraith. Okay. No problem. Let's get the good old pole arm here. Stabby stab. Why is everyone against me today? <laughs> okay. Do the little bashy thing. And I'll... You know what? I can tank you. I'm running away. And where is the big guy? He is still over there. And there's also a big blob now. And another dragger. What is going on? I feel like this is a highway of enemies. Did we actually get the chains? We didn't because we collected bones instead. Oh boy. Okay, sooner or later that oozer is going to attack us. So we might as well be the first one to attack it. Because it'll hear the noise that we are making by cutting down the trees and they'll just attack us while we are not looking and we don't want that probably have to consume another po po potion resistance thingy because you never know let's get the maze and do the special oh yeah i hit him so hard he became two one dead and another we don't really care about the poison damage now because we have the poison resistance meat on so it's a good thing Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. What? Damn it. I have a feeling everything in this episode is going to kill me. I I mean, at this point, I'm not going to be... Oh, what's up, dude? Jesus. <laughs> what the? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Let's help each other out to kill this beast. Or this phantom or rave or <laughs> should I log off? <laughs> oh, this is just this is crazy. And this is probably a bow guy. Yeah, it is. Come on, he starts to shoot. We'll move and we'll wait. Come on, start to shoot. While we wait for the stamina, we don't want him to move. We want to be safe. <sighs> and here comes the cavalry. Whoa! What is going on here? <sighs> so, um... That happened. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Well, at least we have some of the materials to craft what we lost, but, um... Yeah, I knew I should log off this the moment the swamp acted the way it did. <laughs> Damn it, Valheim. Damn it. Alright, let's make the antler pickaxe. That wasn't the biggest loss here. The biggest loss was actually the belt, because now we are down at 300 total weight capacity again. But I think we are close to if we don't already have enough coins to buy a new one, so we'll see. Next up, the Deerhide Cape. And we'll just upgrade it as much as we can, because we need as much armor as possible. There we go, and we are hero once again. Now we definitely want to make the bronze axe so we can get the ancient bark from the trees so we can make our longship. And I'm guessing also the bronze mace because we need to do some damage to the creatures that lives there. And should I try make the serpent scale shield? I really do not like the 15% minus speed penalty, but it is resistance to pierce. So maybe it'll help me against the arrow guys if I cannot find any cover. Which is kind of weird, because I thought I was hidden behind the tree, but evidently not. You know what, let's just make the shield. We don't really have anything else to craft with the serpent scale, at least what I think. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> Last but not least, the polearm, because we definitely want to use the AoE capabilities this weapon has. Not so much for its damage, but the AoE stun is amazing. But yeah, this is typical Valheim. You think finally things are going well, and back to square one. Alright, let's... 
Oh, hey, Hugin. What are you doing here? If you are here to brag about watching me die, then I'm... Ugh. You have crafted a shield. Yeah, okay. A shield allows you to block incoming damage. If your timing is perfect, the enemy may also be parry. Be careful though. If you block too many hits, you will become staggered. The amount of damage you can block before becoming staggered depends on your maximum health. So if you plan on tanking a lot of damage, you should eat food that increases your health. Heavier shields will block more damage but will also slow you down. Now that is the big minus about the heavy shields. You can probably take a lot of damage but you won't be able to get away from the problems. You probably have to deal with it. <laughs> okay, let's eat because we probably want to be at our best before we re-enter the swamp. I definitely need to. <laughs> Okay, I thought this place would be a good place to harvest some ancient barks, but we have two ranged dragons here, and I know one of them is definitely a two-star. Okay, this is just a regular one. Let's kill this guy first. Don't want to be locked in an animation before he shoots. Wait, can't he hit me from here? He can hit me from here. Sometimes it feels like the arrows are, has some kind of homing device, but that'll just be silly, right? Okay, the next one. He was down here somewhere. Just have to find him before he finds us. And he's over there. And we have the high ground, so we should be in a very good position to win this battle. <laughs> Hopefully we'll actually hit him in the first hit, so we... There we go. He's burning like crazy. Good, go for something else. Look at him, he's just killing everything. Oh, maybe a little bit lower. That's good, don't mind me, I'm just here to kill you. Maybe I'm too far away for him to actually understand that I'm I'm the one doing damage to him. He's dead now, and I wish I would have known what kind of rank, star, whatever he has, because then I wouldn't know if I actually killed the one I'm supposed to be scared of. So my quest here is to get the ancient bark that we need, and then once we have that, we'll go back, deliver it to the base, and then we'll go get some more iron, and hopefully <laughs> we'll be able to get our armor back. And it is getting night time, so we have to be careful. Why do they keep coming? I think something is definitely wrong with the swamp. Okay, he's running away. And we need 40. We only have 8 right now, so I'm guessing it's 4 ancient bark per tree. Oh boy, we have another one. And of course it's a range, dude. Because why would it be anything else? But at least it's not a star, so we should be able to survive a hit or two. If he decides to attack us, but he's running away... It's going to be annoying because you don't know if he's going to return in combat and shooting us while we are farming. And another one. But at least this guy is a melee dude. I kind of want to test the shield on him, but I think I need a little bit more blocking skill in order to successfully block him without getting staggered, then one shot it afterwards. Oh, don't run away. No, you don't. I am not gonna let you run away, so you can ambush me when I'm not looking. Okay, we have 40 Ancient Bark now, let's get it back to the base, so at least that is safe for in case we die again. Or, let's be honest, when I die again. <laughs> I just realized that we made the Iron Nails beforehand, so we can actually make the boat now. And just look at the size of it compared to what we already have. Let's dump this guy in the water. Nice, at least some progression stays with us. I mean, <laughs> let's look at it, okay? We have all this cargo that we can now fill with iron if we actually manage to get some instead of the regular four that we have. Yeah, and this boat is not only bigger, it has more health, but it's also faster, which is very important. And it is also much easier to kill sea serpents while on the boat because you can take a lot more bites with the more health of course that makes sense but i mean it's also easier to just kite the sea serpent if that's what we want so yeah i guess this actually salvaged the day and our tulips are done growing so we can actually make the spice rack now which will also enable us to make even better items in the cauldron right let's plant it spice racks here we now have the cauldron rank 2 and we can make sausages tulip stew and let's just see how good it is compared to what we have the turnip stew is 55 stamina which is a lot better than our carrot soup now you may think that only getting 10 stamina is really not worth it but it is trust me we can also make sausages now which has 55 health and we will definitely be switching that one with our current minced meat sauce which is only 40 health i mean 40 health is okay but in the swamp we will take as much health as we can since we are now using a shield 
And with the shield we need more health, so, you know, as you can say, the more health, the more you can block. But the serpents do, oh boy, 80 health, 26 stamina for 30 minutes and 4, four healing per tick. This is crazy. I mean, we of course we cannot be using this all the time because, I mean, we are not drowning in serpent meat, so this would definitely be something we're using against the boss. And maybe, I don't know, sometimes when we're going to the swamp, depending on if we know the situation is going to be quite difficult. But we'll definitely be using this against the boss. So the next thing to do is getting more iron. 